Alright, it is project time and today we are building the JYE Tech oscilloscope. It is the DSO 138 kit. Made in China, of course. We got some instructions. Very nice circuit board with all of the SMD components already soldered on. Schematic. Operation instructions. A bag of electronic bits and butts. The LCD screen. And our probe with a BNC jack. So the first thing I'm going to do is what's known as knolling, K N O L L I N G. I'm going to empty out all of these components here very carefully. I am going to measure their values and sort them accordingly. it took me about an hour just to sort out all the resistors my uh, Banggood uh, component tester misidentified a bunch of them so I had to redo them with the multimeter and now we'll solder them up What the hell did you solder yourself to? Resistors are all soldered in. Quite the task. Those towel holes are very tiny. Uh, next up calls for the high frequency chokes L1, L3, and L4. So 
Let's see if we can find those spots. All right, there's our choke symbol. We'll solder that in next. All right, we will repeat that for the other two chokes in the board. crystal which is Y1 this is an 8 megahertz crystal and you want to make sure that when you solder these in that you don't leave them upside down too long because the oscillation fluid can drain right out of them. There we go. We need to test TP22 for 3.3 volts. 3.3. Now we short JP4. As soon as my iron is ready, I should probably disconnect the power, don't you think? Hmm. 
Okay, the iron's hot. JP4 is shorted. So that finishes the assembly. Next we test her out. All right, seven and a half hours of soldering. Let's see what happens. Uh, we've got a rapidly flickering LED, which means there's an open somewhere. I'm going to have to troubleshoot. All right, guys, pardon me for the handheld shot here, but we got her running. The problem was you really got to solder the living shit out of those header connectors. So let's plug her in here. Boot up. There we have it. I know you don't see anything. We need to select vertical position. There we have our trace. I know it's a little jittery. Put the uh, clip on the wave on the uh, signal generator. Adjust our vertical position again. And there we have it. Eight hours. Uh, you know, it still needs a little work. See, we're in DC coupled sensitivity, 0.1 volt. And sensitivity two probe on X5. You can see there it has a, uh, yeah, maybe you can for focus, here we go. A couple of headers, there's a UART, the USB is not used. Switches and controls. And it's being powered by a nine volt battery. So, you know, as far as I can tell, not a bad little scope. I'll adjust the jitteriness out of it with these two capacitor trimmers here. But that's it for this video. If you like it, please uh, like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?